cut off the deadwood and replace it with uh, with their own team. So it's more a case of um, steady progress, uh, improving the team and replacing uh, players which are surplus to requirements, as opposed to wholesale cutting out uh, what's not needed and replacing it. And let's with hope brand new. coaching staff have the same idea of who's surplus to requirements as the uh, as the men paying the wages, because that yeah. would be a, a bonus for a way forward. I, I think um, that's a you know really good. good we think we've covered everything. Uh, the only thing we've yeah. not necessarily covered is do we think this change will have much of a difference on what Leeds will do this season? Um, to keep it a quick answer, I will say no. I still, I now at this stage expect Leeds to not make the playoffs but not get relegated and that is where I see Leeds being. So I, I don't think that Ferner being there or not would have changed that outcome but it might change where Leeds are in 2020. Uh, John, what do you think? Uh, I think it will make a difference. Uh, I think it will um, stop us getting relegated and make us further up the table, closer to the uh, playoff positions. So you thought but, there was it, so uh, you were worried about relegation then? I was worried about it, yes. But now not as much? Well, I think that uh, the Hopefully, with a new coach, we will be able to turn things around yeah. better. Whatever was wrong with Ferdinand, I said earlier, I don't think he should have been got rid of. I think he should have been given a chance to to get the team sorted. But for now, that's happened. Um, I think it can only improve our position. Josh, what but about... not a huge amount. Oh, right. OK, no, yeah, fair enough. Josh, what about you? Do you think this means the playoffs are in sight and the Challenge Cup final is, is awaiting? Or do you just think... It, it means that you're just going to make sure you avoid relegation. Just avoid relegation. From from what I've seen over the the period of this season, I'd love to, you know, I don't want to be defeated. I'd love for him to come in and make them this massive change and uh, oh, you know, everything click together. But, you know, as long as we can avoid relegation, that's, that's the... Uh, the sight in my eyes. <laughs> Excellent, brilliant. Well, thanks to you both for being involved and giving your uh, your opinions there. And I like that some of the opinions differed. That's certainly what we what we wanted to get out of this chat. Um, so thanks to you, John. Thanks to you, Josh. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you, all the listeners will hear more of your views as, as the year goes along. Um, thanks to all you listeners for listening to this episode of SLP Shorts. You can find us at Super League Pod on Twitter and Instagram, or it's facebook.com forward slash Super League Pod email us superleaguepod at gmail.com um, please do like share retweet all our posts with the, with these episodes also if you could give us a rating or a review on, on Apple Podcasts that all helps to spread the SLP family as well but uh, one final time thanks to Josh and John and thank you all for listening and until you hear from us again keep enjoying and supporting the greatest game of all Rugby League